No. Through the guard and everything. No. That just broke through. Shadow of us. For those people who missed out on securing their copies of the Shadow of the Conqueror Enemies of Self graphic novel, there is a second chance Kickstarter campaign where you can secure your copies of not just the graphic novel but also the second edition novel. The collector edition covers are available as well as leather bound editions. This is a very limited second chance campaign that we were able to squeeze in before we go to print. So make sure you secure your copies now so you don't miss out because we are already hard at work producing the second volume of the Shadow of the Conqueror graphic novel series. Mike S. Miller, the phenomenal artist of this series is already halfway done producing some amazing pages for the second volume which is going to be over 120 pages so you'll definitely want to get your hands on volume one getting ready for volume two which is already looking absolutely amazing thank you to everyone who has backed us so far this is what has made making volume two as good as it will be we are hard at work making these books the very best quality possible the leather bounds are going to have emboss and deboss effects with foils they're going to be absolutely amazing i can't wait to get you your copies there is a link to the kickstarter page in the description and once again thank you to everyone who has backed this campaign greetings i am shad greetings i'm nate and the giant sword project continues in actual fact we have something fairly cool to show you right here i got another one this to is add to the collection look at this the foam models of the titan sword they're complete we're not only going to test it against another foam giant sword which tyrant here has built as well we are also going to test it against smaller regular swords. Which is more important because usually uh, you'd be going up against people with mm -hmm. smaller swords. Exactly. So to kick us off, we're going to do some giant sword versus giant sword. And uh, yeah, we've cut a hole in this one. So sorry, Tyrant, but it, it is a little more like the Titan sword. Mm -hmm. And I just, I feel like I've got to use it like a spear sometimes. Yeah. So yep. I wanted something. Awesome, awesome. Oh, all right, let's just see, see what we do and where we go. <laughs> So that was interesting. That, that was interesting because we got in a somewhat of a bind. Yeah, it but it kind of be a past. double, but there's no cross guard that it caught on. No. <laughs> like there is a there is a German no, no. element for that, I'm not sure. I have an idea. Let's see. Sure. <laughs> oh. oh I dodged it and got him in the legs! We've just switched ends and we'll keep going and um alright, maybe I'll try something different this time. <laughs> So, all right, so let me, what if I start like this? I'm gonna, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> We're getting doubled. We're getting doubled. So like there's a, there's a German technique that I've seen for longsword, which is slam the opponent's blade down and it actually digs into the ground. Phone bounces, that's not working. <laughs> See if I've got a bit more leverage for counter. <laughs> Double again. Oh, the <laughs> I'm cheating because I'm only using half the blade. There is way more bind and winding than I was expecting. Yeah, there is. How about, as much as it is to have like one monster hunter versus another with a titan sword, how about I grab a normal blade and I see how I fare. Let's do it. Okay, so there are some tactics that yes. I'm very interested in trying out fighting someone with a regular sword. Well, I think I'm going to be literally fighting uphill, <laughs> literally, literally, um, as well as metaphorically, because a single sword versus that, the only thing I can think of is try to catch it in the cross guard as I'm trying to gain ground. I'm not sure how that, well, that's going to go. Let's see, so I have two on my mind I want to try. I'll start with the first one, I won't tell you what it is. Oh, why not? Because you have to, you have to react oh, to it. Okay, okay. All right, ready? No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh wow, that bind! broke the guard completely! Oh. <laughs> so try it, try it! Oh. Nice! Oh. Oh, no, no. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's leg! That was one may, of may as well like, go for the... Oh, that's it. That was leg, that, that bounced off the sword and straight, that would have taken off the bottom half of my leg. Oh. Oh. Now nah. the guard and everything! Nah. 
<laughs> that just broke through. <sighs> oh! 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 Does that count as catching it? That's like some kung fu maneuver. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm happy here. This is comfortable. Okay. Things I noticed. Um, one, we can actually do kind of momentum attacks. Yes. Even with the foam and break the opponent's guard. Yes. And even get like... I So that, that block... Where it came yeah, in there. That is fairly strong. What I noticed though, is it wasn't the LARP sword that gave out so much. It was actually my wrist. And yeah. these are, this is foam. So my wrist just gave that little bit, just enough that For the a, remainder of the momentum, momentum just followed through. Um, and that is a very, very, very strong block. So, very <laughs> significant observation. The other observation, which is the other tactic, is that going for the lower body oh, yeah. is vastly yeah. more viable because you have the reach to do it. Yeah. And that was one of the hits that I landed was on the feet. It was, it was. Something that I did notice though was with those overhead attacks, yeah. they're not as bad because yeah. I can wait for an overhead and just go with it. Other observation, oh, I'm much slower with this to the point where you could see every attack a mile away and you, mean you were blocking, <laughs> you were blocking very easily. So I was just like, hit hard, see if I can break it, and then go for the legs. So Which worked. We'll do a couple more exchanges, see how we go. I feel like I want to grab a shield just to try it. Okay. So I might, I might go and grab a, you got a big sword, I'm grabbing a big shield, I'll be back. <laughs> okay, this is my jam, this is my jam, sword and board. How do you wow. reckon you're going to go? That will probably stop me in my tracks, I'm expecting. Well, see. This one is a, obviously LARP and it's mm -hmm. iron rimmed. But if it wasn't iron rimmed and that was full that steel, would dig into it. it would just cleave oh, through right, and buckle right. the boss. So, oh, okay, okay. we'll have to see. Oh, that's both of my legs. <laughs> I blinded myself. Because that's what I want to try and just do the uh, spins, but it's hard to maintain them. Strong. It is so hard to catch that when it's coming back at your legs. Yeah. <laughs> I took a fillet, took a fillet off my thigh at the same time though. Okay. <laughs> that is that is too fast. That is too fast. <laughs> I've seen spears move slower than that. All right, so I've had to take off the Brigham Gambison because it is so hard to breathe in that thing. I imagine so, and especially swinging that, like it's foam still. What I noticed, at least when, when using the shield, if you were trying to do anything that was like an overhead or a 45 degree, it wasn't so hard, but as soon as that thing started just mm -hmm. swinging, you're doing that crowd control, it was a lot harder because... Mm -hmm. Did you have trouble seeing the blade come in low? Is that one of the issues? I did. So, yeah. so I was unfortunately blinding myself a little bit. That's not, right. But not to you. Mm -hmm. I was blinding to the blade and I didn't see yeah. the hand angles mm -hmm. drop. So what I was trying to do, completely unsuccessfully, what I was trying to do was come in and bind your hands up ah. to then get in a shot. But it just, it just well, wasn't successful because you were going too low, too This fast. is one of the big advantages of having such a long weapon is usually to hit the legs, it's harder because they're, they're, lo they're further away from you because your arms are attached to the upper body, so when you angle down, the reach is less. Uh, but because it's so long, all you use uh, exactly. is right there. And I mean, let's, let's take this in reality. Let's say this is a full, now shields wouldn't be that thick. Mm. But if this was a real shield, and that mm. was a real full steel sword, yeah. and I even had the timing to put that down, I'm just gonna flip like a doll. Uh, yeah, like I get the, uh, even if even if this salt stops the blow. You're right. The momentum is Bang. just gonna flip me completely upside down. I'm probably gonna land on my neck. Mm -hmm. So, trying to block that at the at the edge of the sword, it's not a good strategy. Coming in close and trying to block the person, maybe. Mm -hmm. but, because you did get inside the blade at one point. I noticed. Yeah, but every time I got you, it was a double kill. <laughs> every time. <laughs> so. Wow, I, every time? I think maybe I there might have been one. Yeah, I'll try to see if I can just back off. All right, and, um, all right, let's see. So get in the, your standard measure, that, that would be comfortable. Oh, my standard measure now, now extends yeah. to yours, because I want to yeah. be beyond, mm -hmm. I want to eventually be here, Yep. but I need to start well beyond your measure. Well, that's one of the advantages of holding it here, because perhaps you could faint people in terms of the range you actually could get. They might yeah, because you're now in range. Yeah, because you might think, oh, regular sword range, but yeah. like this, yeah, I'm that. well in, I'm, I'm cleaved like, in half. Yeah, yeah. And okay. so this is deceptive. It's just like, you know, I'm here, I'm here, just. Whoa! I first want to see if I can actually catch you. 
Yeah, fair enough. All right, ready? Yep. Oh, oh, did I get you? <laughs> that was beautiful. I tried to like come up. I didn't have the speed. Bounced and then into the face. <laughs> that was gorgeous. I would have had maybe a, a cleft like that into the side of my face. So that was beautiful. What we are seeing here, it's much harder to move backwards oh, yeah. than run forward. And I can easily outspeed him. But in earnest, try and get away. Let's yeah. see. Ready? Yeah. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Got him! It worked! It worked! Make him laugh and then just kill him. Okay, new strategy. You've upgraded. I've upgraded. I need to cover my legs. So, um, covering legs with a Viking shield or a round shield is a little hard because you've got to go low, which means I can no longer go forward as much. I was almost going to say, well, this is just now unfair, but then again, I have been like, you know. Yeah, yeah, unfair. <laughs> unfair. unfair. Uh, so, right. I'm wondering if this either, either evens it out or puts the advantage in your corner because it's a tower it's a, shield. It's a tower shield, so it's a lot to cover. Though, I, it will make me move slower. I can't cover my head with the shield anywhere mm -hmm. near as much. Um, we'll just have to see how it goes, I suppose. We'll find out. We'll fi I, I can't predict. I can't predict out what happens. <laughs> oh, you got me. <sighs> oh, oh. I stopped covering my legs. <laughs> so, my strategy then, Aim high, get him to raise the shield, go low. And it's exactly, it exactly worked. So I can do a solid block, but like that would ruin like the, the shield. Yeah, what would happen to the shield, right? Exactly. Especially, let's, let's, so one of the problems I was having before was once Shad got a wind up. So, see if I can close. I'll let you wind a bit. I'll see if I can close. Yeah, nah, nah. So that would have, the amount of momentum would have smashed into that shield. And even then there was a bounce, maybe you didn't see it, but there was a bounce where the sword come up and got me on the back. So even though I got you, <laughs> it was, I'm not sure who would have survived that. My shield definitely wouldn't have. Okay, so Nate is going to give it a go with the, uh, the giant, giant sword. Yeah. I have a different lap sword. This one is a custom made from Kalamazoo. Oh, nice. It has the Kingdom Come Deliverance handle, yeah. but with a much longer blade with a big ricasso on it. So and it's so got a little bit more. A little length. bit more reach. Okay. It might make the, you know, exchange a little bit more even with a bit more reach. We'll see though. We'll, we'll see, see how we go. I've never, never really swung this for, for combat. One of the techniques I found when testing with the wooden ones yep. is shoulder leverage. Like really leverage it in and off the arm. Oh, and like on your bounces to yeah, get that. Yeah, exactly. Okay. To, to get leverage and everything. Because that's right. the style that I found worked with, with the wood one, the heavier one. <laughs> I don't know how to defend this. <laughs> all right, all right, I think. <sighs> But man, they'll be too, I wouldn't be able to knock it aside. It'll be too wet, too yeah. big. All right. <laughs> See, I tried to knock it aside. <laughs> and so, so the, uh, what I was trying to do was push it to the side there yeah. to get inside. But, all, all but there was I too much to mass. Was... There was too much mass. I didn't knock it aside and I just ran into it. <laughs> Basically, you just have to stab forward and it's a uh, automatic I'm, speed bump. I'm amazed that the mass difference is still having a very kind of functional parallel to what heavy ones would be like, even yeah. with foam. Like, because more mass, less mass, can't knock it aside. <laughs> I'll try what you tried on me, just straight down, see how you go. <laughs> you okay? Oh, fine. Okay. Uh, again, I tried to block it, just straight, straight through. through. Straight, straight through. through. Oh, all right, gosh. I need to put more authority into the deflection, so I go. I was finding to angle with yeah. it and run in the opposite direction, um, as much as you've got to beat the speed of the tip, but... Yeah, all right, so... Ah! Ah! Oh, maybe. Ah! <laughs> no, there, was, there was a cut across my shin. Ah! 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 The range on that is so... <laughs> it's hard to close the distance. It is. So, like it's being used like just a big spear at the moment. A spear that can cut on its whole range. Yeah. Because usually, usually, in a real, like, if I was a spear, those strikes where you got the sword here, so if you put it here, if you get in here on a spear, you're... Yeah, you're fine. You're, you're fine. You're, you're beyond Callum. the threat range, but here... You're dead. Yeah. 
It's like a spear, but times 100. <laughs> it's, it's good. It changes the game completely. There are so many kind of binds and exchanges and winding when you push the sword to a position, and usually when you're facing another sort of comparable size or long sword, that's out of range for you to follow up. So, but every time I was doing that, I wasn't out of range. No, and, and you were just and not only that, me. Because I had that extra range, like yeah. you were bound with the sword, but all I had to do, not that we actually got to this point, but I was thinking ahead. Mm -hmm. All I had to do was raise. Yeah. And, and then come in for well, the like, For instance, something. that one, when I push to the side here, there's multiple things that you do, but one of the things is try and get underneath like that. But because the sword's so long, I go there and I can't get underneath. And, and so we'll do it again. So there, trying to get underneath, I get caught on it and you, st you still got the block. Yeah, because you've and got then, so much Exactly, reason. and then if I withdraw completely to get on the other side, your sword's already there to do a reverse, uh, sorry, a draw cut, massive gash. So, it's actually, like it goes well, I can't do anything close because I can't reach the tip of the sword. But it's almost, almost, I wouldn't want it any longer than that, but that's almost functional for hand-to-hand -hand grappling. Not quite, but it's, it's a good range. It's a very, very good range. And. We know that in real life, uh, like an actual giant sword would be crazy heavy, but oh, yeah. we're kind of assuming you have the super strength to do it, or the sword is made out of a super material to make it lighter. Or both. Which, it to, yeah, to equivocate your functionality that you have with it. And as a result, we're finding that there are crazy advantages. Yes. I guess this thing Even, is hard to fight. Like we just found out before, like you're, you go to swat the thing down, mm -hmm. and I just brace into it, yeah. and then draw it across. And, and so many swats to strike it, like, I, bang! I, 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 it's it's so swat. hard to knock aside. I'm like, ready, I'll try and do full, full strength. Sure, I'll just, I won't, I won't yeah. swing against, I'll just hold it. <laughs> like, that regular sword would have knocked it completely. Yep. And these are foam! Oh, you put a dint in it. I did, exactly, <laughs> look, I even dinted the thing. And it's uh, like, <laughs> so I like this, this. this nullifies so many tactics to try and knock aside the sword and get in advantage. I think, I think I might for the next little test because like I said there's a there's a thing with swords we won't get into it now where you actually want to be able to grab the tip so you can get close and grapple mm -hmm. but the other one that I cut into because I cut the hole in the middle I may be able to do some yes. of that so I want to try a bit more close range because we've gone through big winds mm -hmm. we've gone through static stops but there's a couple of things yet to test so we'll go grab that awesome Okay. This is all right. All right. So we'll the tip see. is a little worse on this right. one, but oh, oh nice, <laughs> nice. That was that did take a nick exactly. out of my arm. I saw that arm is further forward, and so if I could just get. Oh, yep. But, but I will say, normally when yeah. when we've done fighting before, those shots are a lot more solid. You've got so much more range yeah. that it's just just nicking. nicking. Like it's still enough. To and this is a, this is equivalent of a, a war sword length, and so this is a longer, on the almost on the longest end of before you get to great sword, really. Oh, shield. Let's see how that works. <laughs> yeah, I can see you aiming at my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was looking at that. <laughs> 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 Oh, nice. That was solid enough. Yep, yep. All right, so holding it here. Presenting that, that's, that puts it in range with something this long. Yeah. I can just hit So it. I can try to do something with it, but oh, I suppose. Oh, yeah, maybe. So if may. I'm going in like, yeah. And then, yeah, mm, let's just go back to this. This might be better if you close in a lot of range and I yeah. need the bottom end. So I think I'm going to stick with this one a little bit, even though the sword is a bit floppier. I want to try to transition. I don't think I'm going to succeed, mm -hmm. but I want to try to transition a little bit, though just holding it there to start, I'm losing most advantage that I already have. Like mm -hmm. my arm is out, mm -hmm. so or my hand is exposed. Yep, yep. Not that you tried to aim for that. <laughs> no, no, not at but, all. No, not, not at all. all. <laughs> so we'll try. Like, I'm, I'm gonna, if I see a small advantage, I'm going for it. <laughs> I'll see if I can transition to it if I need to. Otherwise, we'll just do what we see, were doing. Already, before. I already feel this is more difficult. Like the range to get close is just. <laughs> now, something with that. Something that, with that. I, that. I could hold that grip the whole way around. You notice I was holding pressure on you the whole way around. So even though I think I think you cut the back of my bridges, <laughs> even though um, Chad did do an attack at the end, I could because of the range of this and the fact that there's so much surface area to go on, mm -hmm. I was holding that pressure the whole way and not even thinking about yeah. it. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that was that was across the belly. Yeah. <sighs> okay. <sighs> 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 
<laughs> I did cop a hit to the arm. I will give that. Try to use it like a bat. No, I'm not going to try to use it like a bat. <laughs> See the rage. <laughs> Straight across the forearm. Oh, right in the hand. I see it. That was me wondering, can I close the distance before he strikes? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this, this center grip, I think, is good for recovery. Yes. But to try to use it, even... So it's not really a transitional grip. It's not like, you know, the blade of a sword mm -hmm. where you can grab anywhere. You've got to find this. And to find that, you'd have to be really well trained in it. So I think maintaining this most of the time, maintaining a normal grip, um, is better than what I was trying. So I came into this pretty blank slate. Like, I, we've, we've theory crafted about giant swords and that, okay, there are ways to fight with it if you had the appropriate strength, but in terms of how effective would they be in combat, I had no point of reference. No, and I, I have to say, I, I did have a bit of a bias coming into this. I sort of looked at this and thought, okay, it's gonna be like a spear or a two-handed axe. Mm. Obviously, it's gonna have more weight. But I've fought spears and I've fought two-handed axes and I'm comfortable fighting them and I know how to defeat them in a good percentage of the time. Mm -hmm. This is harder. This is just harder for a, a multitude of reasons. A and honestly, it performed better. Like I came into a blank, but I was thinking I didn't have a bias. Would it be better? Would it be worse? I was just thinking maybe even equal, but it performed way better yeah. than that blank slate. It, like, it was way more effective. I'm surprised at how effective it was, specifically when we were able to switch it up because when i was using it i was thinking all right am i just getting lucky you know yeah I, 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 we'll see but when you got it you dominated like i, I was dominating thing. when i had it when yeah. you had it you dominated and it goes straight to the strengths of the weapon that that would happen it's so hard to get past that yeah. much blade it's like it's like so one of the things as you mentioned before mm -hmm. getting past the spear which has similar range to this mm -hmm. getting past the spear once you get past the end yes you're fine but with this like you can just exactly keep and chopping and especially if they're pressed against the blade all you do is draw cut yep. and that would be such a devastating gash yeah it's like absolutely oh. absolutely and that just even if we started talking about the technique so we went for heavy hits which powered through even on lap blades yes they powered through it, it performed well in different techniques heavy powerful hits as well as even trying to wind and bind and get advantage yep. just even static i'm just going to hold my ground and hold yeah. my structure to stop or the big like sweep. yes just trying to get past that and trying to get the right timing as you saw you just change up a little bit or exactly. bounce it off your shoulder and it's faster than you expect and no th that spinning thing wasn't necessarily fast but you know that it's coming in after and so even when you try and time it it can still now because the momentum and everything and like we talked about even if you could block it with a shield you'd be flipped yeah like it's just and also it is not easy to predict and so wow way more effective than i, I was thinking although something that we've only got to do so far is foam yes so maybe maybe we change it up a bit and we do a bit of strength testing with yes we see we see if this can power through some shots it doesn't have a lot of weight. We'll get, I, we'll get the wood ones, we'll oh, be safe, okay. we'll get, and we'll see if you can actually try and block. I'm gonna do this without the mask, and the reason being is because Tyrant is gonna aim off to my side. Um, so I'm just holding this out for leverage. See if you can get it. On this side? Yep. Not really. I wasn't even doing anything. No, I can, you can see the body language, like I'm trying to put something into it. Tyrant is just kind of doing this. Oh, instantly, instantly. Let's try the other side. I mean, on the plus side, if he does that and overcommits, no, never mind. He's probably going to get me. <laughs> I love it. Probably going to get me anyway. I know you're trying to be tricky there. I'm not... No, but you're showing exactly what this I'm does. Not you do you're that. down, but that's fine. You have so much length. You just bring it up into another shot. Yeah, and it becomes a shield. So I think I think we've kind of figured out that these things are a bit more effective than what you would expect. Vastly so. Yeah. Uh, if you had the super strength to be able to spin it, and I'm thinking like up to super strength, before the torque gets too high, you could push it to 20 kilos on the sword, yeah. um, maybe even to 30, and then you're, that means you still have enough weight in your own person to ground yourself and you wouldn't get pulled off when you swing it. You Can you hold this? Herculean strength. Just give me a second. Oh yeah. I did want to talk about the Titan Sword because uh, mm -hmm. I think a lot of people, there were some people that missed the point of the mm -hmm. Titan Sword. Mm -hmm. A lot of people said, 
Why don't we make it out of steel? Why don't we make it out of a whole bunch of materials? And the whole point of the Titan Sword is that we can actually wield this mm -hmm. effectively. That's we, do, why... we don't have super strength. Exactly. Oh. We want it to be able to be lightweight mm. and maneuverable at the same time. Actually, that brings up a really good point because this, like once it's swinging, it's moving. Mm. It's just going in the same direction. But that is a closer, uh, not an analogy, no. Uh, analog. Analog, analog. analog thank yeah. you. I know words, closer analog to the foam ones that we were using before, which we were getting mm. good maneuverability at. Yeah, and, and on top of that, if we made that out of steel, right, it would be mm. equivalent, I was about closer to, say, to yeah. weight to that, or, or, or just a little bit higher, which is why it's good to test with that one, because then we can kind of transpose. Oh, it would be, it would yeah. be heavier. But we can still get an idea of the functional range of it, and then just say, well then, if we even had the Titan Sword, and it was made out of steel, but we had the super strength to use it easier, well then that would feel like we were how it was using the, the foam ones. Mm. And the reason why this design is a good, I'll actually give you props, it's a good design. Thank you. Thank First you, off, this bit here isn't gonna be sharpened, so we can mm -hmm. use our weight to put it in. Also, we have all grips mm -hmm. along here. Yep. But what I've found will be the most important feature is, these holes here, while they can be used like mm -hmm. this, they also make it more aerodynamic. They do. And it doesn't catch as a wind sail. So no. I can I can move this around and this is no problem. That's why I, I wanted to clarify, because yeah, some yeah. people didn't understand. They mm -hmm. thought, well, why not make it out of steel? Why not make it out yes. of all these other materials? Again, Which that's why. makes sense at first mm. thought. It does make sense. Yeah, the, these tests are trying to figure out how usable would a giant sword be in multiple different circumstances if it was light enough to use or if you had the super strength to use uh multiple things and uh, but we're still getting a lot of really important feedback and the conclusions wow. i'm finding even in a lot of these different scenarios like even if you went something like that and it would be like 20 30 kilos but you had the super strength to use it wow would it be still, so functional still effective especially seeing is like you need once you have that strength mm. then you can do that bouncing around that moving and a little bit of flipping mm -hmm. and you can fight wind resistance us maybe not yeah. but but then if, even if we went to lighter wow it's still functional right. because it, like the foam wasn't heavy yet no. it had the enough mass to compare against a, a weapon that had lower mass but it was made out of the same material foam yep. and we got the same advantages in the weight comparison it did, surprisingly but surprisingly it worked. and because it, it was hard to knock the big swords off points because the masses were just so vastly different like i, I i'm i'm shocked I, I'm, I'm, I'm really impressed. Giant swords are friggin' awesome. When we're able to make the carbon fiber version, right? Wow, that'll be a, like a serious, legitimate weapon. Like one that should not be discounted as just a gag because we've managed to get a surprising level of functional utility in combat tests with it. And if we can make one that's usable in a usable weight range, well, I, I had a lot of when I when I first read about this um, that was going to be made into carbon fiber. I was a little cautious, but I've been cautious through every step of this, and it's worked through every step, regardless of my caution. So I I may be turning towards hopeful for a carbon fiber blade. And we are still moving forward with that. Look, it's a long process because it's complicated. We have to get tools and additional things, but. We have started to, because we need to make small test versions first. And Tyrant, do you have something to show us? I do. But before I do, I yes. thought we should explain. Because yes. it has been a while since our last uh, Titan Sword update. Mm -hmm. And the reason why is, basically, the first steps are the most difficult ones. Mm -hmm. And we needed to make sure that we could actually make uh, quality, that's the important part there, quality carbon fiber sheets. Mm -hmm. And we can. We can. Look at this. This is a quality solid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hold on. Yeah, yeah carbon fiber this sheet. Is, this like, is that no is joke. solid. This is no, th the thing that's breaking is the flashing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta take the flashing off. But this is a quality sheet, and if we're able to replicate this, mm. the Titan Sword is very, very close in the future. Like, this is exciting. There's, so there's this one, mm -hmm. and then there's one more, and then the one after that. If everything yeah. goes, if all stars are aligned, it's the Titan Sword. There's a couple of preliminary build up videos before we get to the full size one because we need to make some tests and so there's going to be uh, like an in-between video just where we're going to make a carbon fiber short sword out of this sheet okay yeah. to see how well the blade the bit of the strip of metal can connect to it how durable it is it's going to be a great video and hopefully we're going to you know find out how, how functional it is, and we can build up to the full-size Titan sword. Look how stiff this is. This is like, what, a mil thick? No, it's a bit thicker. It's a bit it's, thicker? It, the flashing here is a little bit hard to gauge, mm -hmm. but it's about, I'd probably say about 1.5, nearly two millimeters. Yeah, which is not. Uh, 
that's not much at all. That's not much at all. Well, that, that's well, what was fraction more? Of, fraction of a fraction of an inch. What's important about that is, again, it was testing. So we mm -hmm. wanted to see how many layers it would take. This is, I think, nine layers of nine carbon layers. fibers. So nine layers gives us, after we cut off the flashing, it should be around 1.5, 2 millimeters. Mm -hmm. That's a good gauge because then mm -hmm. now we can actually add. See, that's 1.5. I don't think that's two because that's so thin. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't measured it. Let, let, me, let me use my 1.5. <laughs> we'll see about that. But show them how stiff it is. I, I, oh yeah, this is no joke. This is, like, that is stiff. And depending on what we're hitting, it's not like we're yes. going to be hitting the Titan sword against other swords. Maybe. Yes. Maybe. <laughs> uh, but for the, the first rounds of testing, we are just mm. going to be doing like uh, bottles of water. Yes. Other things that swords we would do in like a review. Yeah, meat. And carbon fiber for that, it'll survive that. Yes. It's yes. usually just when we hit it against another. Mm -hmm another solid object. So there's exciting stuff that we are still working on. The giant sword project is all steam ahead. It just, we need to work through difficult things and they're like, oh, we need to get a sanding belt and other things. There's things to get. We've, we even had to readjust the entire workshop yes. uh, to be able to get room to do it. But, and, but we now have room to build mm, a Titan yes. sword out of carbon fiber. Something to mention uh, mm -hmm. we haven't actually spoken about is weather. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, resin requires heat. Like a nice day like this. This yes. is a nice day to do resin. Uh, winter's coming up for us. Yes. Yeah, flip seasons to, to a lot of you mm. guys. Yeah, and uh, resin requires a certain temperature to harden. So we may have to go a little bit faster than originally planned yes. uh, at some point. It might, might be faster or but, it might be longer, but we're doing it. We're yeah. doing it. We're committed. Yeah. So. Very exciting stuff. Thank you to everyone who's joined us here on this video. I hope to see you on the future videos. And until that time, fair luck. Shadow of the Conqueror is the breakout debut novel by Shad M. Brooks. Truly incredible. I absolutely loved this book. Honestly, it's one of the best books I've ever read. S. Keith Hall. The tale of a deposed, tyrannical emperor who embarks on a journey towards redemption. The 82-year-old Dalen, once known as Dalus the Conqueror, is cursed, becoming a youth, and obtains the mythical powers of the legendary Arch Knights. Battling inner demons, his violent and cruel inclinations, and enemies both old and new, he ventures onward trying to fight back the growing darkness threatening the world. After all, who better to hunt monsters than the greatest monster the world has ever known. This novel is gripping and masterfully crafted within its world. Shad Brooks defies all preconception of a first novel and hits the ground running with a skill few writers can match. Seth Pachel. Shadow of the Conqueror is based in one of the most well-crafted and unique fantasy worlds the genre has seen in many years, and fans of the novel have been craving to see it depicted visually. This is easily one of the most compelling works of fiction I've ever read. I could go on and on about how original the setting is, or how many times I was nearly brought to tears, or how absolutely riveting the action is. But nobody wants to read a ten paragraph essay, so I'll keep this short. Ten out of ten. Michael. Now, Shadow of the Conqueror is coming to you in an epic graphic novel adaptation, with the incredibly talented art of Mike S. Miller. This will bring its dark, confronting story to fans and new readers alike in another beloved format, making the story more accessible than ever before, and enabling current fans to enjoy it in new ways. I was engrossed in the tale of the Conqueror. I laughed, cried, growled with anger, and shouted with joy. But also during this entertaining ride of emotion, I came away with mental growth and new perspective on the human condition. Andrew Johnson Mike is a 28-year veteran of the comic book industry, famous for his work on DC Comics' Injustice series and George R. R. Martin's Game of Thrones-related graphic novels. I've read so many novels I've lost count, fantasy genre or otherwise, but in my opinion, this is one of the best. Seton 425 
The author of Shadow of the Conqueror, Shad M. Brooks, has been a fan of both comic books and Mike's work for many years, and is thrilled to be working with him to bring this graphic novel to the highest standards possible. I don't typically listen to audiobooks multiple times, but this is my fourth time through and I'm loving it more each time. Highly recommend for anyone who loves fantasy action stories. See Barker. This first graphic novel volume, entitled Enemies of Self, has 48 pages of stunning art visualizing the amazing and unique world of Everfall with some of the best work Mike has ever done. It must be admitted that there was a large amount of skepticism when this book was recommended. However, a story that would leave the reader hooked and begging for more was not something that was expected. The overall plot and flow of the story was simply phenomenal. I highly recommend this book. It is filled with action, humor, love, hate, science, and the psychology of the human condition. History Rewriter this is a special limited time second chance campaign and is only available while we finalize the very last details with our printers, enabling all those who missed out the opportunity to get their hands on these incredible books, including the collector edition covers and the second edition version of my novel. We've spent the time since the close of the first campaign actively finding ways to print the very best quality leather bound versions of the graphic novel and second edition book. With emboss and deboss details, reflective foils, and high quality leather covers, they're all available in the Second Chance campaign. Thank you to everyone who has supported this project, and we cannot wait to get you your books. Way better than I thought it would be. Bought because I watched Shad on YouTube. I never thought his book would be as good as this is. Kinda blown away. Jevin Curley. With special collector edition covers and limited Everfall merchandise, this is your one and only chance to secure these special versions of this phenomenal epic fantasy graphic novel. Just because the mainstream comic book industry is declining in both quantity and quality, doesn't mean we still can't make great graphic novels for those who love them and attract new fans to the format. Please share this campaign with as many people you feel would be interested and who would love to enjoy such a visually stunning and emotionally riveting story as this Chronicles of Everfall, Shadow of the Conqueror, Volume 1, Enemies of Self.